Uh, back to the field. What a wonderful, beautiful morning this is out here in South Valley of Steamboat. Pan around a bit. Uh, that's the mountain right there. You can just barely see the ski runs. Everything is green. Everything is green except for these beautiful lupin and that hay that's just starting to turn that beautiful red color in the distance. This morning I'll be studying a pattern of light and dark right here by the road. <laughs> um, this is my sketch of the little farmhouse down there and I just love that when um, the small houses are surrounded by big trees. It really speaks to the culture that um, first of all it's been there for a really long time Second of all, back then, they did not need a big house. In fact, they preferred smaller ones that are easier to heat, easier to maintain. Um, so I'm honoring that cultural tradition here in the Yampa Valley today of ranching and um, being integrated into our beautiful environment here. There's the ranch house I'll be painting today. I have painted it before, but today I look forward to exploring it more. I love going back to subjects that I've painted in the past, uh, especially if it's been several years. Uh, I love to almost reach that potential that I thought I had seven or eight years ago and instead just ended in a big mess. Now I'm just starting to get a glimmer of um, what I thought I was painting, you know, that disconnect between what's in your mind and what actually comes out. <laughs> so it's starting to come out, which is exciting. This is my beginning sketch, my no tan sketch, um, just focusing on dark and light shapes, patterns, um, composition, leading the eye in, making sure nothing is uh, funny shaved, shared edge or um, in the center or equally spaced, all those good checks that you do while you're laying out your composition. And I've started already with the no tan dark light composition and um, now I'll be going into um, actually laying in the paint. I'll start with the back, the sky, and then the next being the mountains and then uh, start filling in around, um, around, you know, well, start painting. <laughs> but I do like to start with the sky. Um, that way the edges against the sky of those trees won't be too hard. I can paint on top of it, I can go back and forth and create that three-dimensional um, feeling and create the form of those trees. Okay, the sky and the background mountains are in. Um, I'll still play around with them, but I wanted to make sure while I'm out here that I got the right color, the right value, and um, don't have to mess with it too much after that. It's really important when you're painting outside that uh, if you can, as much as you can, you get it right the first time. <laughs> so um, that's in there. I'll play around with the edges still, but I went as close as I could to the trees uh, without muddying my colors. And um, so now I'll start creating form with those trees. Okay, I thought I'd check in. I have some form created here in these trees. Uh, not entirely refined but at least I have some of the light and dark shapes um, because as the sun rises they change quite a bit and I wanted to make sure that got in there. I'm also working on the shadow of these buildings and that reflected light that's hitting that porch and I'm going to be working a little bit on the detail now where the light is hitting. So mostly I've done shadow except for the light in the trees um, and now I'm going to start working on some light areas as well as the foreground, which is all light. I put in a wash of paint, stained the canvas, just to get rid of the white, uh, but I'll be punching that up a bit more uh, because as you can see, the ground is very bright and very colored. Okay, I am as done as I'm going to be out here today. Um, the shadows have shifted and uh, the light is changing on the ground, so it's time to go. But uh, once again, there's my scene 
And you can see how much brighter the um, reflection of the light on the ro roofs became, which is a little distracting. It's another reason to stop. <laughs> but um, just a few words here on foreground. Really tried to maintain distinct shapes, even though um, the foreground can get pretty mixed up. But uh, you can see the lupin in the front there, and then the hay about to be harvested is that pink red color um, so again just trying to keep distinct shapes also using those shapes to draw the eye in um, and to just have fun with color so nice just not to be just green 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 all the time so hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you next time